Hey everybody, Chad here. Just want to do a quick video um, of statues. I had some people commenting about where we got them. We get them from Columbia, South Carolina at the Barnyard Flea Market. Um, Mr. Glenn has a, a statue business there called Concrete Statues that you can find if you're local in, uh, around the Columbia area. We actually drive over an hour to get there to get some because he's uh, got a lot of awesome selection. Just want to show a few of the things we got and then all the other statues and keep in mind all the statues i show you look like this at one point just the concrete color so we got this cool skull down at the bottom with the flowers that looks really cool and those will look really good painted we're going to paint all these by the way this butterfly for the butterfly garden what i liked about it is the flowers on the inside of the wings i thought that was really really cool so that is awesome. Coming over this way. So first we have those mushroom things to go in the gnome garden. And we have a male and female gnome. So uh, we're gonna get them both painted. I love his hat that's got the uh, kind of a, um, the wood in his shoes or either his feet, whole feet are made of uh, bark as well it looks like. So really cool gnomes. And then to go along with them, also have the regular looking mushrooms here in the front, two uh, different kinds. So all of these right here are going to have to be painted, and I'm going to have a whole video on how I paint stuff. And you can do it really simple or really detailed, complete, you can do it in just a few minutes. Um, or you can take, you know, a few days, depending on how uh, detailed you want to be with these. And I'll show you some different ones that took different amounts of time. In no particular order, we have here our Welcome Fairy, I call her. I did this one sort of a Tinkerbell-ish color scheme, um, a little bit anyway. Um, that was kind of inspiration for this one. And uh, I like the green on the words and the lighter green as well around it. So, um, got the cool flowers over her head right now. But this is our Welcome Fairy. So, you see, just um, looks really good as you walk up. These here are smaller, one of two fairies that I did to kind of do the... Um, copper sort of look with the patina on it so that's one I for some reason I really like this color like this kind of looking like it's faded a little bit or got some rust on it this is a uh, copper fairy number two uh, same size as the other one a lot smaller really like that as well and then this guy uh, you've probably seen in some of the videos we have two of these they are um, our griffins that guard up the walkway to the house, guard the door, <laughs> griffin door. These, they took you, um, they didn't take that long to paint. You could actually paint these fairly quickly. Um, once you get started, probably, you know, definitely less than an hour, maybe half an hour or so to paint one of these, depending on how detailed and also the shade you want. Um, I kind of went over it a few different times, but like I said, I'll get to that in another video, but um, once you do the base coat, which uh, you can do that a few different ways as well, you really fast or it can take a long time. But this is our Griffin, and here's his brother, the other Griffin. Love these guys. You're going to notice I love fantasy theme stuff. Here's our fairy. This one is uh, one of the first, the first fairy I did. Um, did this one just like my wife with the blonde hair and brown eyes. So. Love how it came out. Show you bottom down there with the flowers and her, her toes in the dirt now. And then the top of her head there. And look at the pattern on the wings. Not gonna walk behind her right now, but her hair on the back is just as detailed as the front. Really, really nice. And our climbing rose. Our climbing rose here is finally starting to bloom. You can kind of see uh, as that fills out It'll look really nice with those yellow flowers hanging over. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these bubblegum Supertunia Vistas? They have taken over these concrete planters. I will try to remember, if I watch this back, to post a picture of what these look like when I actually planted them, and just a few weeks later, boom. This dragon is very large. Um, it is about three feet long at least. And this was my very first painting that I or painted statue that I did. 
So uh, I'd like to go actually back over this, do a whole different thing, maybe a peach dragon color scheme with the green and the, the pink and the um, colors like that. So I might actually do that at some point, but this was the very first one I did. It was dark. It was almost 30 something degrees at night getting dark and I was painting it. But it, even, like I said, this did not take long at all, just a few minutes, but it looks really great. I remember what they looked like earlier, those statues I was showing you at the beginning um, looks nothing like that now. You see all these different details. So anyway, that's our dragon sitting on a big old rock down there. Really cool, cool guy. This, um, the owner of Concrete Gardens, Mr. Glenn, he actually painted this one. And this is one of the first statues I bought with the dragon also. And uh, I think one other one, uh, maybe the fairy. Um, but he painted this one, so I have not painted this. I Looking back, I'd probably do it a little differently, just for my preferences, but I don't want to right now because, uh, I, I mean, he looks great anyway, so I might do him in a little more Gandalfish color scheme on his beard and his face and his hands. But he went with the concrete look. Really awesome, awesome wizard. And that cool crystal ball, too. And, of course, you've got our mooning gnome. Uh, mooning gnome, yeah, I said that right. Um, whoops. <laughs> I got him for my little boy who anything but humor related is funny to him. So I bought that one just to show him. This here is one of our favorites. I've shown you this one, I think, a few times in the videos. This is another fairy. Oh, that's Gus. Another fairy. What I like about this one is um, I, lo I love the little stones at the bottom, all the flowers. Tried a, a different color scheme with her, kind of with the uh, red hair, going sort of the brave look from... Disney's Brave kind of thing. I like these flowers on the top, the blue ones, but I'm thinking of actually, when I had moonflower vines last year and the moonflowers going crazy, I thought about painting those big blue flowers uh, more of a whitish color so that she could be the moonflower fairy because we also have the sunflower fairy. But look at just the detail. And on the back, that's the back. Look at that hair. I mean, that's very, very detailed. All the wings on these fairies kind of look similar. Look at that. Here's our sunflower fairy, one of my favorites. Went dark hair, kind of dark brown hair with this one, just to see what it would do. I was gonna do blonde, but um, just wanna try something different. Looks really good. Look at those sunflowers. And you have some credible sunflowers surrounding her. It just looks great. So much little details though. This one took a few days to paint all the fairies because there's a lot of detail that I wanted to do. You could paint them if you want just to make them look kind of like the gargoyles or something like that. Just kind of and just highlight a few colors like the yellow on the sunflowers or something. Everything else looked like a statue. It would only take you, you know, an hour or so, maybe less. Here's one of my favorites. This uh, four different faces, um, northeast, south and west, four seasons. So this is one, this is kind of the spring, I guess one, or summer, I don't know. The other one kind of looks like this too, but this one has the cool, coolest one, except I'm gonna turn around so you can see the other four. Here's the autumn one, which is another favorite of mine, just like that color scheme, really cool. Old man winter. He's pretty cool looking too. And then this one. I guess this is either spring or summer or whatever. This be spring, I guess. The other one's blooming all the way out in the summer, I guess. Anyway, I like them all. They're cool. Four faces. Yesterday was a little bit dark when I did this, so uh, and the light was kind of bad. This is an awesome dragon. Love the details. So cool. These are the gargoyles guarding the haunted path to the lake. These were our Halloween decorations at our front porch, or front walkway, this past Halloween, and they'll move there again during Halloween. Love this guy. matching guy over here. This here's one of my favorites, the go away gargoyle. 
Should have him at the front of the house, front of the driveway. Go away. This is the newest gargoyle edition. I love his long fingers. Really, really cool. We call this guy Muscles because he's so strong. Professional wrestler gargoyle. And also, check this out. This guy. Crawling up the back. This one here is in the butterfly garden area near the bird feeders and all the new stuff. And it is a bird bath. I decided to paint a fairy door, make it into like a fairy um, home. And has the big butterflies. And then we just fill it up with water every time I water everything and it works great. Now that top part, because this thing especially was in a pretty rough area before I moved it, and it had a lot of sand kicked into it by the dogs, and just a lot of splashing when it rained. And so that part in there, even if you clean off, it stays dark. I need to repaint the inside there because um, it doesn't. It's hard to paint them unless you tilt them over. But anyways, um, the birds still like it. The water's clean, even if it looks nasty on the inside. So this is the dragon that has a chip in it, and it just looks so good um, all the detail and stuff and the colors I love them all and then but I just hate putting them next to the other one when he's got a chipped wing on the other side and then we have I am Groot so found this little guy he is extremely cute um, don't know where I'm putting him in the garden yet but he's going somewhere uh, so I said we got our dragon Groot and then Chewbacca with a little Death Star up under him, so that's pretty neat. This guy probably took, once I did the base coat on him and let it dry, about 30 minutes or so, something like that. Not very long. So those guys gotta go outside somewhere to find a home. I'm gonna take the dragon back to Concrete Gardens. He thinks he might can patch it back up and I can just paint over that part. But I've also got that other dragon, which, uh, I think I actually forgot to show you, I've got a third one of these so I can start over either way. So this is what those dragons look like beforehand, just kind of concrete color. So you can see just how much they pop when you put that color on them and paint them. Almost forgot this guy, he was hiding behind some of the other statues. Baby Yoda from the Mandalorian. Grogu, I think his name is. I just call him Baby Yoder. And this, if you recognize him, is Gus. I was able to find a statue that pretty much looks like Gus. And then I took a bunch of pictures of Gus. And matched all of his patterns up. So that looks just like Gus as far as the patterns and all that. Let's see if I can get a picture of the back here, so you can see down. He just needs a collar. We always talk about getting a collar. So, when we had him at the front, sometimes you walk inside the door and it looked like Gus was staring at you, and you forget. And for those of you who have seen Molly the Collie, this is Molly the Collie. This is actually after the dragon, I believe the next thing I painted. And this is when I figured, man, if you really take your time on these, you can get detailed and you can do a great job. This thing looked amazing when I took the pictures of it. Just look at the detail there. This is the same pattern as Molly. One leg a little higher than the other. Just a cool cool thing she's pretty small and Gus is pretty much life-size and there's the back of Molly while I'm showing you Molly's Molly is sitting right here pawing me to get my attention hey Molly how you doing how you doing? Ignore the mess in front of me. 
this is the school room with the kiddos and stuff. So no telling how it looks. But here's Molly. Molly, hey dear, how you doing? Did you see your statue? Okay, tell her bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Who's my girl? That's my girl. Say bye everybody. Bye bye. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. Isn't that right? And hit the like button and the subscribe button. And share it with your friends. And be prepared as we maybe learn a little bit about painting some concrete statues and make you look like a professional artist. Molly says, just be done. Okay.